spiritual, thrilling, engaging, marvelous. <laughs> What's happening guys, it's Shane here and today I'm excited to finally bring you the STEM degree tier list. Now if you didn't know, STEM stands for spiritual, thrilling, engaging, and marvelous. Because that's what your life will be like if you do these majors according to boomers across the world. And sorry if you're a boomer watching this, no offense intended, but apparently my audience thinks that I'm an Asian dad, so I guess it's okay. Now first of all, STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. There are some STEM majors that are much better than others and a lot of them are actually pretty overrated. So I put a lot of work into this list and all I ask in return is that you gently give the like button a tap because you're a positive, grateful person. Okay, so number one, first one we're gonna go over on this list is going to be actuarial science. And this is all about using mathematics, statistics, and financial theory in order to calculate risk and uncertainty. Now, if you're really good at this stuff, that's awesome because whenever I try to do it, I get more confused than a grandma trying to post a TikTok. Now, there's about a thousand people that graduate with this degree every single year, and their skills are really sought after. The starting pay for this one is around 63,000 a year, and then the mid-career pay is around 127,000. Now, you'll notice on this list that a lot of the math-related majors have really good stats and they rank pretty well. Now, this one doesn't have as high of job satisfaction or meaning as a lot of the others do. Still, it's a really good option for the right type of person, so overall, I'm going to put this one in A tier. Architecture is going to be next on the list, and this one can actually count as a science degree or an art degree, depending on what you specialize in. Now, obviously, specializing in more of the science-related field instead of the art-related field is going to be better in terms of pay. I feel like everybody finds architecture to be fascinating. I mean, I remember talking to an architecture graduate for hours and it didn't seem like the conversation ever got stale. But the problem with popular degrees like this is that a lot of other people think the exact same thing and so it tends to get oversaturated. So it can be really tough to find a job, the pay isn't that great, and you're probably gonna end up working really long hours. But if this is your true passion in life, if you were born to do it, you should still go for it. Just make sure that you look ahead and you plan it out because this one is not so straightforward as some of the other ones. Overall, this one is going to go into C tier. Agriculture is going to be next on the list, and I think this one might surprise a few people because it does seem to be pretty important after all. I mean, feeding people is pretty important. That seems like an essential job. But with this one, it seems like one of those skills where it's probably better that you learn on the job rather than getting a degree for it. Compared to other STEM degrees, this one just doesn't have very good stats, and I really recommend that if you go for this one, you probably want to double major in business or something along those lines. This one is going to go into F tier, and it's actually very similar to the next one on the list, which is animal science. Now, just about everybody loves animals of all shapes and sizes, even the ugly ones. But this is another one that's pretty similar to agriculture where it seems like it might be really important because it does focus on farm animals and you know a lot of people depend on that for their meals. But the stats don't really pan out for this one and unfortunately it also is going to go into F tier. Next on the list is going to be biochemistry and this is actually a pretty decent one especially if you're interested in a lot of these science majors. Now the big problem with a lot of the science majors is they actually don't have very good stats and a lot of people end up having to go to grad school just to be able to get a decent career. And if you're really passionate about the traditional science majors, this one is probably better than chemistry or biology. It's still not perfect, but you have a much better chance of getting a job with just a four-year degree with a biochemistry major. This is also a really good one if you want to transition into healthcare later on because you're going to be studying a lot of the same stuff. So overall, I'm going to put this one in B tier. Next on the list is going to be biology, and in my opinion, this one is a little bit overrated. This one is an extremely popular degree. A ton of people graduate every single year with a biology major and I'm not gonna lie this one can still be pretty decent under the right circumstances but overall the stats aren't very good for this one and a lot of people who graduate with biology degrees end up having to go to grad school just to be able to get a good career so overall I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in C tier next one on the list is going to be computer science and I think everybody knows my opinion about this one computer science is excellent I even made an entire video about it you know we're entering the age of automation and these skills that you learn in computer science are really in demand right now and they're probably 
probably going to be in demand for the next 20, 30, 40 years. Software engineers, for instance, make really good money, $105,000 a year. There's 1.3 million jobs available, and it's growing at 21%, which is much faster than average. On top of that, this is one of the most flexible degrees out there. If you want to, you can work part-time from home, or if you're ambitious, you can work your way up to a million dollar a year job. If you're thinking that you might be interested in entrepreneurship in the future, this is also another great one to get into because there's a lot of opportunities in that industry. The stats are excellent on this one. I mean, if you want to know more about it, watch my video, but clearly S tier status. Next on the list is going to be chemistry, and this one has a lot of the same problems that biology has. But overall, it's a little bit better than biology when it comes to the stats, and I think it's one that's a little more well respected as well. You still might end up having to go back to school in order to get a job with this one, so you know, make sure you do your research and you're prepared for that. This one is going to go into B tier, but I'd say it's pretty low B tier. Engineering is next on the list, and there's a ton of different engineering specialties. Some of them are better than others, and I've already made a video about that. Depending on which specialty you go into, some of them are kind of a little bit too general, whereas others are a little bit too niche. There's some where you're probably going to have to move somewhere in order to get a job. But overall, when it comes to STEM degrees, engineering is still clearly S tier. Next on the list is going to be environmental studies, and uh-oh, it has the word studies in it. This one automatically goes into F tier, right? Well, this one's pretty controversial. You know, a lot of people obviously think this one's extremely important. But overall, I have to be fair here. The stats just aren't very good on this one. They are a little bit better than some of the other degrees that are in F tier though. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in D tier. Next on the list is going to be exercise physiology slash <laughs> Next on the list is going to be exercise science slash exercise physiology. And this is a very popular degree. And I think it's one of the most overrated ones out there. The stats are really, really bad for this one because just about everybody is passionate about working out once they get into it. And this one just does not have a lot of opportunity. And even if you are able to find a job, it's not going to pay very well. This one definitely goes into F tier. Next on the list is going to be food science. And you probably think that this is going to go in the same tier as animal science, but actually the stats for this one are pretty good. And I guess this makes sense considering Americans are kind of obsessed with food. No, but there is actually a lot that goes into this, like manufacturing food, preserving it, and all that sort of thing. And this one does have pretty decent stats, but it's not amazing, so I'll go ahead and put it in C tier. Forestry is next on the list, and this is all about conserving forests, uh, cutting down trees without damaging the ecosystem, all that sort of thing. And trust me when I say I wish this one was higher, but unfortunately the stats don't lie. It's not that great, but it would still be cool to get paid to be around nature all day, so this one goes into D tier. Geology is next on the list, and this is all about the Earth's surface surface and rocks and all kind of cool stuff like that. And I was actually really surprised when I was researching geology, but the stats on this one are actually pretty decent. A lot of people who get geology degrees end up working in the natural gas industry, which is well known for having really good salaries. So overall, this one goes into B tier. Information technology is next on the list, and I would get into this one more deeply, but I just don't have that much time with the video. And there's so many different variations of this degree, and they all have pretty good stats. This one grades out pretty well overall, and for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in A tier, and I would say this one is pretty high A tier. Next on the list is gonna be mathematics, and I know when I did my original degree tier list, I did put this one in B tier, and I got a lot of flack for that in the comments. The reason I put it in B tier is because it's such a general degree that a lot of the time it's a little bit too theoretical for people to hire you in real life, but people in the comments section actually made some extremely good arguments with this one, and I did some more research on it, and I have to agree, I think B tier was a little bit low. The stats on this one are pretty good, so I'm gonna to have to go ahead and bump this one up to A tier. Next on the list is going to be neuroscience, and this is probably going to surprise a lot of people, but this one doesn't grade out very well. It's not horrible when it comes to stats. Um, you know, there's a good chance that you'll be able to find a job without having to go to grad school, but it's just not going to be the most amazing job ever. Overall, this one goes into C tier. Next on the list is going to be physics, and from what I've heard, this is probably the most difficult major. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about going for a physics degree. Like, I don't think I'm very smart, so I probably would not want to go for physics. If you're passionate about physics, you're really smart, hardworking, this is a great one for you. It's a very well-respected degree and a lot of physics and math majors actually end up working in other industries like for instance they might become a software engineer. Physics is going to go into A tier status. This one on the list is going to be psychology and I think everyone knows how I feel about this one. One of the most popular degrees out there and it also does not 
have very good stats. You know, I get comments about this all the time, people saying, you know, mental health is so important, psychology should be rated higher. And I agree with you, it should be, but I have to be fair here and look at the stats and they're just not that good. Especially with the amount of people that are graduating with a psychology degree every year, it's extremely tough to get a job with just a four year degree. Almost everybody ends up having to go to grad school to get a master's level degree or even a doctoral level degree just to be able to get a job. And the few that do get jobs with a four-year degree end up getting worked extremely hard and they're not paid very well. And I almost put this one in D tier just because I do think that mental health is extremely important, but overall, the stats don't lie. I have to put this one in F tier. I'm sorry. Next on the list is going to be recreation and leisure studies. And uh-oh, we hear the word studies again, boom automatically goes in F tier. No, but all kidding aside, uh, that one actually did grade out with the worst stats on the entire list. Next one is going to be statistics, and this one actually has really good stats, and it's also extremely flexible. You can work in business, you can work in the finance industry, you can even work in tech with this one. Statistics is definitely going into A tier. All right, make sure you check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and then comment down below any comments or ideas you have on this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.